Today we're going to talk about the CZ Hammer Classic Coach Gun. This one I got used. Um, and I just happened to look into it. It was used, but barely. And um, I went into Bud's actually looking for something else. And saw this on their discounted, it's been here too long rack. They'd had it almost a year sitting on that rack. Normally this gun is $900 plus. Dollars. I ended up walking out the door for six. So I was pretty happy about that. And this thing is absolutely stunning. Look at this hard walnut. Really nice checkering. On both the forestock and the rear stock pistol grip. It's got this really beautiful case color, case hardening. I mean, it's just in a little bit of engraving here and there. So the Hammer Classic, it's engraved. I mean, it's just stunning. External hammers, your opener. It does have a tang safety, which I'm not crazy about that, but you don't have to use it, so I don't. I mean, it's just a beautiful gun. So let's talk about it a little bit, and then we'll show them some videos shooting it. This is a uh, pattern after the late 1800s double barrel coach gun. It has 20 inch barrels, shorter. Uh, used to be ridden. The guy riding next to the driver of the stagecoach had the shotgun. Well, probably one of the most versatile weapons in the West of the time. Um, that's why they call it riding shotgun. So you had this. Um, the originals were black powder only. This one shoots obviously modern smokeless powder shells. So this is a 12 gauge. It does have the simulated ivory front sight. Nice deep bluing. CZ USA. This is actually, though, not made by CZ. This is made by, let me turn this around here, Hugli, or Huglu, Huglu, I guess, out of Turkey. But it is a beautifully done, real tight, real nice. And then this is my RLO uh, custom leather. Four 12 gauge shells. So you can walk in the woods with just this and have six rounds. Two in the tubes, four there. All right, so <clears throat> talk about this. One of the things I noticed between guns like the Cimarron, which are made in China, um, and some of the other ones like the, uh, I forget what it is, the JW2000 or whatever it is, that's made by Century, imported by Century, made in China. Those are kind of rough, and this one is very, very, very not rough. This is very smooth, very elegantly done. Everything is really super tight, um, but not so tight that it's a pain. That's why I think this wasn't actually shot very much, if at all, when I bought it, because when you'd first, when I first started, um, when I first got it, you'd open this. Of course, I'm one-handed. This isn't probably going to work very well. No, I can't do it one-handed. But here we go. Okay, so this didn't want to open without a little bit of oomph. Now it opens just fine. And you can see your uh, extractor, extractor comes out. So you can either pull your shells or you can knock them out. Actually, this one is pretty smooth in there. And they just fall right out uh, without much effort. Um, so that's how you open it close it and it locks back this does have dual uh, hammers they're external hammers and they are real they're not fake they are you cock them and then pull the trigger and they go forward and strike the firing pin and it goes through there and I'll show you that too sorry this is really Horrible because I'm on my phone. I'm holding it with one hand. So anyway, you the, you 
can see how they come through and it strikes the primer. So, it breaks down typical. Just flip this off, this comes off, that comes open or comes off, and then you have a three piece. This did come with a case, it came with a velvet sleeve that it all fit, fit in. Um, I have those upstairs, I didn't actually bring them down for this. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and we'll get into some video of me shooting it. All right, I'm gonna take some first shots with my uh, CZ Coach Hammer Classic. It's got the RLO uh, uh, stock cover on it. And it's a hammered shotgun, case hardened, real pretty. You guys have already seen that already though. So anyway, pull both hammers back. I just got bird shot in here. I'm gonna take some shots with it. <laughs> well, <laughs> had him failure to fire on the right one. I don't know if it was just a light hammer strike or what, but um, could have been user error. I don't know. We'll see. We'll load it again. So it has a an extractor that just pushes it out. You got to manually rip them. Front trigger is the right barrel. Back trigger is the left one. It's cutting down the tree. <laughs> That's how you cut down trees in Kentucky, boys. All right. They kick out pretty easy when you give it a little shake, so it's be good for cowboy action that way. I'm not very fast, but I just got this too, so we'll see. with some uh, number four buck just in case I didn't want to keep my shoulder anymore <laughs> thing kicks pretty good smoking barrels buddy smoking barrels that's fun Fall here in a second. It might. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much point A point impact though. So that's good. All right, these are just seven and a half shot federal cheap stuff from Walmart. I'm gonna try to pull both at the same time and see if I can do that. Oh, oh there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> that's how you cut down a tree in Kentucky, boys and girls. Woo! Once again, it's a CZ Hammer Classic Coach Gun, 20 inch barrel, case hardened, blued, beautiful wood. I love this thing, it's fun. Take a look at that, beautiful. All right. All right, That's I'm it. gonna do a pattern test of the CZ Hammer Classic. It's got a target about 25 feet down there. Um, right now I got the seven and a half bird shot. I'm gonna do the well, I've only got one target, so I'm going to do both barrels, maybe just one at a time, just to see. But um, it's not like a scientific thing, but I just kind of want to see what it looks like. So I'll cock the hammers back. I'm going to go center of mass. Let's go take a look. Okay, the big ones are AR rounds. The small ones are the... 
are the pellets. So it looks like it's up here in the head. I was aiming right here. So it looks like it's very well a spread out. High and pretty much over the face. So, so it looks like this is our area, maybe, I don't know, 20 inches or so spread and about maybe seven to eight inches high. Okay. We'll try it with some double number four buck next. Here we go, number four buck. Center mat. I'm guessing, well, hell, I don't know. They're pretty close to the size of the air around. Kind of like the ones without the, I don't know. Probably should have had a clean target, but yeah. we didn't have one. <laughs> but it's kind of, it looks more peppered up here. So I'm gonna say it's probably similar in aim. That may have been the wad. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think it's these big ones here, here, uh -huh. there, maybe, I don't know. That could be wrong. Either way, shoots a little bit high, but pretty much straight. I like it. Kick it out if you want, you can, or you can pick them out. No. What do you think? I like it. Cool. Yeah, it's funny. It's like right on. Yeah. <laughs> 